in November with Minnesota with Doug Smale going to the North Stars. Now back of the goal, there is going to be a penalty call as Carboneau is knocked down. And the Winnipeg Jets will have a player heading to the penalty box. Don Barber with a cross check on Guy Carboneau, slow to get to his feet. Now here it comes, in behind Carboneau, and he just nails him. And Don, that's the kind of a thing, of course, that the referees all around the NHL are trying to stop. Another camera angle at it. Now 32 is Barber. He rides Carboneau with the stick up against Carboneau's shoulder blades. There is Guy Carboneau slowly being assisted to the Canadian's dressing room area, the gate beside the penalty box. And he hasn't straightened up, Don. He never did. He's just been bent over like this from the time that he finally did get to his feet. Defenseman Phil Hosley, who has scored the only goal of this hockey game on a power play, now puts the Canadians in a power play situation with the high stick on Riche. Now, here's the play, and there goes the stick that did clip Riche. I think that, that looked accidental. Again, you get Riche trying to stick handle by the man at the defense. And watch the stick go up. The contact is made, and the penalty is called. Well, the feeling is that the player should always be in control of his stick, even though it was accidental. Oh, a good hit. Had a good opportunity grabbing that puck right in the slot. Good hit at center ice as Eagles steps into Chorsky. Eagles in his first game as a Winnipeg Jet. His first shift since being acquired on Friday. Makes a pretty good debut here before his new hometown fans with this hit. Bingo on the Canadians. Tom Chorsky. Now Desjardins goes after the puck. Deep in the Canadian zone. And here comes Donnelly, number 34, and there goes the elbow, and there goes the face up against the glass. So Donnelly's gone for an elbow at 1740 in this first period. And Donnelly starts back. And that action comes just as the siren sounds, and now it's Donnelly and Svoboda pushing and shoving. Keane steps into it as well. And this all took place after the horn sounded to end the opening period after Svoboda missed a great opportunity to put the Canadians ahead. They went down ice and as the horn sounded and they started to coast, Donnelly turned around to Svoboda and one thing that led to another. Gord Donnelly drew a two-minute high-sticking infraction and he also picked up a double minor for roughing. Peter Svoboda got a two-minute roughing minor. Svoboda back after it, being chased by Olchek. Oh, big hit in the corner as Eagles runs into Svoboda. Mike Eagles, he hit Chorsky with a dandy check in the first period. This is his Winnipeg Jet debut, and it's safe for us to say you can see it coming, but Peter Svoboda couldn't see it coming. Back after it is Newman. He bangs it on the boards. Cronin. Terjean. Trying to get away from Manta, the puck is loose, picked up by Scrublin, and there's a whistle on the play as Manta gets involved in the corner. Like it, or does it? Can't tell right now. So there's Terjot saying, let go of me, you whatever. And because of all of that, he's gone to the penalty box. And the Jets, who just have tied the game in a power play, get another chance. Now, we might be able to catch it here out toward the blue line. And there, you see the puck, the Winnipeg player turning around. The stick went high, and it definitely made contact with Denny Savard. So he seems to be all right as he checks the schnoz. Turgeon for Montreal trying to get away from Elnick. The loose puck picked up by Olsen goes right wide. He was upset with Pat Elnick right here. And it's and a retaliation type thing as he swings around. Look out, Pat. I think it's coming right about now. And he